Probably hit the biggest shot in Cavs history. They're going up. Oh, my goodness. Hayward came down so hard. Okay. Hayward broke his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Mm. It's the season opener. You're brand new Celtic. This is a big deal. You're yeah. in Cleveland playing LeBron and the Cavs. And you're five minutes into the season. What do you remember about the play? I remember, you know, having a step on my defender and uh, he was kind of behind me, under me a little bit, and then um, LeBron kind of came over at the last second. You know, there's three people up in the air trying to get the ball. There's a sense in the air like where you feel like you're off balance and you know you're going to come down hard. I've had that feeling before, and for the most part, I'm able to kind of adjust, but for this instance, my foot was caught and there was nothing I could do. And then all of a sudden it hit me, and it was like immense pain coming through. It felt like forever before the doctors and the trainers ran over, because it just felt like for a moment there, I'm just looking at it and it's just like, you know, this is, that's when I like, I grabbed my head like, oh no, this is not good. Um, and then when they finally popped it back into place, it, it hurt. And when they were carting me out, that's when it like, it hit me emotionally. Like, I got this wave of emotion, like, like, am I done? Like, is this, is this my career? Is this over? I think we will see Hayward out there on opening night, but no, I don't expect him to be the same Gordon Hayward that Boston signed with such fanfare two summers ago. Getting back to being that player, that is going to take some time. And yep, patience, which is hard, but oh so worth it. What do you want to learn through this experience? What have you already learned? I think it's, I'm going to come back better than ever, and I firmly believe that, but I know it's going to be a long and difficult process. My thoughts are that I, you know, take it day by day, and I said that from the very beginning, that's what I would do, not putting a timetable on it, and the recovery is going well and progressing well. I um, was in the facility this morning, will be in the facility tomorrow, and that's kind of my goal. So just really focusing day by day. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hit. to begin the third. Hayward playing with five fouls. Nice move to the basket. Gets two and gets fouled himself. Saw that one coming. Hayward with the block. Here's a glimpse at the athleticism of one Gordon Hayward. Yeah, and the desire to. That's the competitive part of uh, Gordon Hayward. a new addition but back after last season Gordon when you hear that tip off moments away what's going through your mind uh, I'm definitely excited uh, a little bit nervous too at the same time it's been a long time since I played a game and um, it does feel like I'm a new addition just because I only got a chance to play you know a couple minutes in that first game so just excited when you watch this team last season, and especially how they finished, how do you feel like your game fits into what this team is now? Yeah, just uh, another weapon. Um, I can do a lot of different things on the court, and so you know, I'm willing and ready to uh, score if I have to, play make if I have to, play defense, um, whatever coach needs. I think we've got a lot of versatile guys on this team, and so you know, just another presence out there, another playmaker, somebody that can handle the ball. Um, you know, space the floor some more for, for all of our talented guys to attack and uh, someone who can, you know, spread and shoot it. Mentally, how do you prevent against doing too much, thinking too much, trying to be too much? Yeah, I mean, I think just playing, just getting out there and playing, um, competing. I think playing hard defensively is always what gets me going initially, trying to get some some rebounds and then the rest takes care of The other way, lay it back defensively. Tatum goes right at him. Follow for two. 